No chance Meg rules as King refuses Sussex's deal for 330 million to reconcile and strips their titles traders can't be trusted. King Charles refuses Sussex's deal for 330 million to reconcile and strips their titles. King Charles is angry when Prince Harry demands money from mediation before a peace agreement is raged and we're about to discover a revelation that paints a rather sad picture of Prince Harry's intentions and actions towards his own family how far and how frustrated can one get if one prioritize his personal gain over a true reconciliation it was recently reported that Prince Harry may be looking to reconcile with his father King Charles however the motivation behind this potential Reconciliation may not be what you expect it seems like money was the important driving force behind Harry's actions in the matter and according to royal biographer Angela Levin Harry relentlessly pursued financial gains the point of making his own father King Charles suffered from his public antics when Harry and Meghan left the royal family in 2020. Queen Elizabeth made it clear that if Harry did not become a working royal, as a result, he could not have one foot in and one foot out and they would also not be sponsored by the royal families. But here's the truly shocking part. Harry's behavior since then has shown a complete lack of respect for his own family. They had nagged his father for years, demanding apologies and money. These do not seem to be the actions of a living son, though seeking to heal Angela's wounds, loving properly labeled Harry a fake because his actions don't align with the values of a true family. If you really treat your own family badly, it raises the question of whether he truly understands what a family is. It was heartbreaking to see that Harry had used his family as a means to an end, making their lives miserable under his constant demands. It seems his focus is not on rebuilding relationships, it's about minding more money and resources. Even King Charles, who certainly loves his son, is hesitant to reconnect with Harriet Meghan until he witnesses positive changes on their part. The question we must now ask is whether Harry and Meghan are truly ready to change their ways or whether their pursuit of wealth will continue to take precedence. Recent reports suggest that both sexes are facing financial challenges, and the loss of their lucrative partnership has only made the situation more complicated. It's clear that maintaining their lavish lifestyle is a top priority for them, but at what cost? It's a sad state of affairs where personal interests far outweigh the importance of family and true reconciliation. How far will Prince Harry go in his quest for success, and when will he realize the true value of the family that the whole world is watching? It's time to take a serious look at himself. King Charles is doing an admirable job of keeping things under control with Markle and Harry. What he's dealing with is a psychopath, and a psychopath with no conscience. The king should do his best not to let Harry's demands bother him but let his lawyers deal with them. Harry learns that he is under the influence of a psychopath. King Charles might find his life much calmer if he led his best lawyers to control Harry's intrusions and demand an end to needing the conversation with Mark or Harry ever again. King Charles was very good at managing money. The British government has been very helpful in smoothing things out regarding Harry at Marco, but it's not easy.